you for watching Diversity TV Community Newscast for the week of August 4th, 2023. Hosted in English and in French by Prestige on it. We start the newscast in Calgary with the tour of Calgary at the Afro-Caribbean Festival. Meet Manasse Collection and Manasse Food by Vida, where you can find African clothing, African natural dresses like Bisap and more. Yeah, please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Vida from Manasi Collections and Manasi Food. Uh, we do in African clothing, a uh, kaftan, wedding, uh, ceremonial dresses, and we do bracelets too. And we do drink, a very nice, juicy drink. We call it silo drink. Some people call it bisab, sobolo. We have different names for it. It's very healthy. And we do spicy soap. Ghanaians call it shito. Other people call it spicy soap. So we have our Instagram account on Manasi Food. You can follow us, and when you go to Instagram on Manasi Corrections, you can also find us there. And you can order by contacting us or sending us an email on 587-577-5879. So we are here at Afro Caribbean Festival, and we are calling everybody to come. If you cannot visit us today, go to Instagram or Facebook. You find us. Just tap Manasi Food and just follow us. We are promoting African clothing, African juice, and all other things that you need from us. Our shipments are very easy and fast, so you can trust us. Thank you. Still at the Afro-Caribbean Festival in Calgary, taste different types of African donuts, samosa at Zena Catherine. So we are at the Afro-Caribbean Food Festival and we are now talking with Zena Catherine and here is the manager and one of the team members. So how are you, sir? Not bad. How are you doing? Good. So what do you sell? Uh, we sell a variety of things. Right here we sell African donuts. We call Mandazi. We call we sell Bitumbua. We call them, uh, these are rice fritters. We have sambusa. They are beef sambusas. We have chapatis. And then we also have bichetti. These are like powdered donuts as well. We we have ugali. In some cultures, they call it fufu in the West, but in East, we call it ugali. We got some veggie rice and spinach. We got pilau, which is spiced rice. We also got our favorite juices. We got tamarind juice, and we also got passionate. Where, where are the juices? Our tamarind food right now is in the fridge because it's so hot outside. So it's in the juice. Make sure you get a sample before you go. All right. Thank you. Where can people find you when you are not here? Okay, so there's two ways to find us. One, you can find us through Safari Grill, 25528 Street. Southeast, or for our catering side of the business, you can call 403-909-7901 and we'll deliver, we do events and all those kind of things. So the number is the one on the banner here? Yes, the number is the one on the banner right here. And also our email address is also there. If you want to place your order online as well, you can just email us. In Edmonton, the Africa Center Innovation Hub Inspire Lab was launched on July 27 at the Africa Center. The collection of race-based data is counting, making it difficult to use data to support the need of the community, influence policy, and attract funding. The Innovation Hub will provide the foundation for data collection, be able to collect race-based data to help with health, justice, the education system, and other systems for other important work. Listen to the Africa Executive Director, Samir Juru, and other talk on why data collection is important to the community. Hi, uh, my name is Samuel Juru and I'm the executive director of the Africa Center. And uh, today we're here at the Africa Center launching um, our social innovation, research and data hub. And uh, these are very big words, um, intellectual, academic words. But really, it's important to understand that the reason and the impact of all of this is the community. Uh, one of our key pillars at the Africa Center is the impact that we have on community. And when we talk about research and data, what we really want to do is to make sure that when we deliver programs, that we do our research first, and that the programs that we deliver, it could be the daycares that we offer, it could be some of the women's program and the youth programs, or the seniors programs that we support, that they are informed by research to really understand the needs of community, so that the programs and the services that we provide are services that are truly in touch and impacting the needs of the people in the community. And also part of this is collecting data. 
and the data, as um, my friend here spoke about, is really useful in terms of understanding what's happening so that as we do advocacy and lobbying with governments, we are able to really strengthen the case and make the case to get resources uh, to positively provide services that impact our community. I thank you. Moi, c'est Franck Amel Tala. Je suis dans l'équipe de data science de ce projet en tant que data analyst. L'important des données pour un tel projet est vraiment capital. Parce que pour que Africa Center puisse aider la communauté noire, la communauté noire, les ressortissants noirs d'Edmonton et du Canada en général, ils ont besoin de données solides sur la provenance, nos origines, nos informations, notre identité, afin d'établir des projets, des programmes qui puissent apporter du soutien à notre communauté. Donc, il est vraiment important pour nous d'avoir dans ces informations-là, afin que ceux qui pourront décider les, programmes que nous, les projets que nous pourrons monter puissent être vraiment efficaces, puissent être centrés sur la communauté et les ressortissants en général. Donc voilà en gros l'importance d'acquérir des données fiables et solides. Merci. Hi, my name is Alfred Apia. I'm the lead data analyst for the Innovation Research and Data Lab. Um, I think data is important for, for our community because um, it provides us, um, you know, the evidence for some of the historical um, racial things that we've, we've heard about. It gives us the opportunity to provide that evidence to show that, for example, our outcomes are, you know, biased or our outcomes are different from the rest of the population. So being able to collect data gives us the ability to show that uh, it helps organizations like the Africa Center be able to advocate on our behalf to say that, you know, this is why we need more funding for these projects. So I think this is why I think data is important and I'm excited about this. Still in Edmonton, on July 29, the Liberian community in Edmonton came together at the London Dairy Community League Hall to celebrate the 176th independence of Liberia. Home sweet home. Need a beautiful home in Edmonton or area? Canadian Touch Home Limited has constructed some beautiful homes to look. Call 780-934-6289 to view. After enjoying the beautiful home, Diversity Magazine tour of Edmonton continues. Every Friday, noon to 2 p.m., Canawa will be served free fruit and vegetables. Their mobile refrigerated trailer will be at the Value Village on What Ave. You can grab a ticket at the trailer anytime between 12 noon and 2 p.m. They sell item in order of ticket number at 2 p.m. Should you want to pick up a free bag or have a big herd to volunteer, please go to www.canavois.org You are watching Diversity TV. Visit Luxury Spa and Amal at the Elite Spa and Amal on 3333 8th Street, South East Calgary. Come check out the next night market. It is free. The 10th night market in the Alberta Avenue District. Each market offers different vendors, entertainment, and community partners. Enjoy a laid-back, family-friendly and inclusive environment to pick up locally made goods, enjoy a bite to eat or sit and relax with friends on a beautiful summer evening. August 11, Batista's Gazzone. August 18, Mona Lisa Pub. August 25th, Canadian Dollar Store. September 1st, Batista's Gazzone. September 8th, Batista's Gazzone. September 15th, Downtown Uto. It is a free public event. Check out more information here on albertaavenue.com slash nightmarket. BCW Expo coming up with sweet deals on tickets. Business owners, startup, people who dream of starting a business, professionals and others join the Mind and Business Network event of BCW in action on Friday, July 28th at the Delta Hotel in downtown Edmonton to learn and grow their network. The next big event that BCW is organizing is the Expo. Don't miss out on the early bird ticket sale for our September 22nd and 23rd Mega Expo. This sale ends on August 10, 2023. Secure your spot now and save big with the discount price of 199 down from 249 Reserve your spot on Eventride. Hi everyone, it's Ruth.
Mark here from BCW in Action. I'm the Senior Program Coordinator, and I would like to invite you all for our upcoming expo on the 22nd and 23rd of September 2023. And uh, the expo has, uh, it's a two-day event, so we had the panel, which is on the first day, starting at 8.30 a.m. in the morning until 3.30 in the evening, and then we have a networking event. We also have vendors who are going to um, showcase their, their products. And then the second day, we have the Peach Perfect contest where we'll have the, the, final, the finalists. And also you get a chance to uh, network with people, with investors, and then you'll finish up with a nice gala where we'll announce our Peach winner. And also just have fun, dance, and yeah, come and enjoy. Come join us for the expo. The tickets are on Eventbrite. And feel free, please, uh, to contact us at info at bcwinaction.ca. Thank you. And finally, the high-level bridge light at Lake Every Night with this special request this week. July 31st, red, white, and green for Iglesia Ni Cristo, Church of Christ Anniversary. August 5th, orange, white, and green for Nigeria Republic Independence Day. For more untold community stories, please go to www.diversitymag.ca. This is all we had for you this week. To enable us keep bringing you this community on to story, please support Diversity TV by becoming a member today and get our members only special on diversitymag.ca. Be the first to get our community news card as it happens. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification on our Diversity TV YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok. Our website is www.diversitymag.ca. See you next week because when it's Friday, it's your newscast from Diversity.